What's up guys, I'm not here at Monster Gadgets. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is Thursday, April 4th, 2019. And yes, we are back yet for another tutorial Thursday. And I promise you, this one will absolutely trick you out. You guys will just be like, holy sh, what just happened? So check it out. We're gonna take a photo, convert it into a video. We're gonna make the background move, the foreground move, and we're gonna make it fun. So that way, when you're putting it into your project in Adobe Premiere, it's not just a normal photo sliding in from the left, panning in from the top right, I don't know, whatever it might be. So it's kind of boring when you just randomly have a photo up pop up and you leave it on there for five seconds for someone to see and it's just kind of like blah. So today you're gonna to learn how to make that photo into a video and make it move and make it look interesting. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Photoshop because that's what we're gonna be working with and let's get started. All right guys, so we are in Adobe Photoshop. And as you can see, this is a photo we're gonna be working with. We've got a nice background. And this is me kind of standing on the edge of the cliff here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select our pen tool. I'm gonna to zoom into the photo here. And what we wanna do is we wanna make a selection around your object. So in this case, it's gonna be me. I'm just gonna go ahead and click, make a point, and then go along the point as close to divider as I can. So this is important because you want to make sure that when you, the next steps we're going to do, we want it to be a clean cut. So just go ahead and go right around the edges. I would recommend maybe even going just a bit outside, not by a whole lot, but just a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and go all the way around and select it. Now, if you want to go around a certain object or a curve, you can simply just go ahead and click and you can make like this curve line. And then you can go ahead and let go and then you can continue on so you can go ahead and curve it like that but i'm going to go ahead and select around the object and fast forward this part and i'll pick up right after i get done <music> As we're getting closer we're going to go ahead and connect the dots there and then we are going to go ahead and right click and we're going to go to make selection now the feather radius i always like to leave it at one pixel so if you have something different i think by default it's 0.5 if i'm not mistaken so go ahead and change that to one and hit ok and then you'll get the marching ants after you've got your selection made Go ahead and hit Command and C or Copy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit Shift Delete. And this is gonna bring up the Content Aware. Go ahead and hit OK. And let it do its thing. Voila, and we are gone. And then once you're gone, go ahead and click on your Layer 1 and we're gonna go ahead and paste it here. So now that you're back. So if you turn this off, you're technically gone turn it on your back here so go ahead and turn it off now what you'll notice is on your background this isn't as clean right so there's some spots that I missed while I was highlighting or I should say selecting the tool so a couple of things you can do you can go and go ahead and use the clone stamp tool to make those selections so what you do is you hit option or alt and make a selection and then basically click to get rid of it you can do it like that or what you can do is you can use the lasso tool, select the area that you want to get rid of, and we're going to go ahead and do another shift delete and content aware, just like that. So I personally like to do it this way. It's just a lot easier. Highlight it, shift delete, just like that, and start getting rid of any outlines that you see so it doesn't stand out as much. Okay. Like up here we've got some just 
just like that get rid of any lines that you're seeing I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this so I'm not taking up too much of your guys' time Now that we've got myself removed and we've got all the outlines pretty much gone, as you can see this is where it was and now it's gone, just like that. All right, so next thing we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on File and we're going to go to New. In here you want to make sure you pick the dimensions of what we're going to use this in Premiere since we're going to create a movie out of it basically. So 1920 by 1080. The resolution you can turn that down to about 75 since we're not going to be really doing much with it and go ahead and hit create once you've created it go ahead and bring that out so we're going to go ahead and bring this photo here and what we're going to do is we're going to basically take these two layers that we created let me make this out of the way here these two layers go ahead and select them both and bring them over to the new so click and drag and bring them over here you want to go ahead and zoom out and then hit command and T to basically resize the image. So just go ahead and click the click and drag the points over to where you feel you want the image to be. So I'm gonna get my image. Let's see. Scale it down, put it maybe let's see that much back. I'm just hiding. Alright, that looks pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and now we've got that there. From here you want to go ahead and click one layer at a time, right click on it and go to convert to smart object and then second layer that you had go ahead and do the same thing, convert to smart object and once you've got those done go ahead and go to windows and go to timeline. Let's go ahead and move this up and let's move our old window kind of out of the way. We're not going to need this right now, so we'll just move it back here. And now, once you open that timeline, go ahead and click on Create Video Timeline. And now you're kind of doing like actual video work inside of, well, sort of video work inside of Photoshop. So now we've got these two layers here. The first layer, even though it's called Layer 2, go ahead and hit the drop down menu. And where it says Transform, go ahead and create a key point. Go all the way towards the end. And now once, you, once you're there, go ahead and Command and T. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make yourself just a little bit smaller. And then hit Enter. So what's going to happen is when you play this, it's going to look like you're moving. But we're not done yet. So let's go ahead and close that up. We want to go ahead and select the background layer. Same thing, move this to the beginning. We're going to make a key point, bring it towards the end and hit Command T. And this time, instead of making it smaller, we're gonna make it bigger. So I'm just gonna scale it up just a little bit. If you do it a lot, it's gonna make it look like it's going too fast and it's not gonna look actually realistic. It's gonna look like it's rendered. So you don't wanna do that. So just a little bit and go ahead and hit Enter. And now you've got both of them done. When you play it, you've got yourself kind of moving in the foreground and the background moving in the background. And it just kind of gives you that trippy feel like oh my goodness like what just happened right so we took a still image and we made it into almost like a video where you're kind of panning up I guess or moving up once you're happy if you wanted to change it for example if you made it or you want to make it faster all you do is just go ahead and click on the keyframe right click on it go to delete and go to do it again command and T and just for illustration purposes let's just go ahead and scale it like this it's huge right hit enter when I go to play this, now you'll see it's not going to look real. It just It's too fast. And I personally don't like that. It just doesn't look real. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that again. Oops. Delete. Do it again. Bring this towards the end. Command and T. And again, we'll just make it a little bit bigger. Just like that. Enter. Go ahead and play this from the beginning nice smooth slower motion and it makes it look a lot more realistic all right so once you're happy with how fast this is moving go ahead and go to file export and then click on render video 
under render video, we'll just call it mountain top edge. All right. From here, you can go ahead and click on preset, and you can go and click on the YouTube preset. Make sure you've got the appropriate frame rates. This by default is 29.97, and depending on what you're working with in Premiere, those are the frame rates you want to set it to. So normal videos that I do, they're all done at 23.976. So you can go ahead and click on 23.976 and that'll match your timeline. Once that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and select my location. Yeah, I want it on my desktop and you will go ahead and hit render. Let us do its thing. It might take a while depending on how your computer is and you will be good to go. So what do you guys think? Kind of trippy, right? You look at it you're like, what just happened, right? So yeah, put that into your projects, have people look at it. Look at their reactions, see what you think, enjoy it, have fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.